Welcome to another episode of Sales SMS. I'm sending you a message about are you a consumer or are you a producer? Yes, guys, stay tuned. This is the message I'm sending you. You're going to find out if you're a consumer or producer, how to go from being a consumer to become a strong producer. Listen, this is the message I'm sending you. You better catch it. Let's go. Sebastian Bastogne is now very much the angler file. Guys, what's happening? Yo, talk to me. Talk to me. Wagwan, what is happening into your life? Saturday morning session, Seb's SMS. I'm sending you this message. Yes, you better catch it. I love that line. But how was your week? Since last week, you know how? How did you develop yourself? What did you actually do? What, what happened? You know, can you just take a step back? Pose, get yourself out of your own body and then look at, okay, am I proud of myself? That's the question I want you to ask you. Ask yourself, okay, this is what I've done last week, this week. Am I proud of myself? If I was looking at myself from distance, would I be proud of myself? Regardless what the answer is, you either keep going are you correct and you go back at it that's what i want you to do from today just take some distance feedback self-assessment feedback but this week this saturday morning session i want you to take a little bit of a couple of minutes to ask yourself are you a consumer or are you a producer and you know we all are consumers i'm not gonna lie we all are consumers it's not because we're going to try to make the difference and to see where you stand that we're not all consumers. We're all consuming every single day. But listen, don't get it twisted. There are some of you, yo, you're going too far. It's, it's, too, it's way too much. You're consuming for, for 10 people. And that's my problem. If you're part of them, if you're one of them, I want you to hold your hand up even if I don't see you. But I don't hold my hand up. I used to be a consumer because that's that's what I knew. That was the vibe, that was the trend. And I wanted to be part of people, part of the group. And I was consuming without even realizing that I was consuming. You are consuming social media like big time. Check your phone. There's a screen time. I want you to check your phone. How, how many hours do you spend on your phone? Because we're going to talk about your phone as an example for you to have an idea about the mindset. When you do consume like that, when you do scroll, you see people even in the, in the tube or you know, anywhere, they go, they're always like that. What do they do? They're consuming, they're eating off somebody else's product. That's what you do. That's what those people do. So why? What, what is going through your mind to consume, consume from, from the first minute that you're waking up? Every time you got a minute, you're consuming, you're scrolling up and down, you're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. The same way you scroll on your phone, you're scrolling your life, you're consuming your life. And that's my problem. That's where I want to get at. Because the say, the, what does apply for social media, for whatever you're saying, or YouTube, you know, you scroll, you consuming all those motivation, all those quotes, oh, no pain, no gain. This, there's some of you, you are the professional expert to repeat quotes that you read on online, social media, or anywhere. Oh yeah, you know those scriptures so much. You're consuming books. There's so many of you, so many people, they're consuming books they, because they know it sounds good, it looks good, but they consume, they consume, but they don't actually do nothing with those information. You're consuming information, but nothing changed into your life. You're consumer by nature. Are you one of them? And that's what I want you to think about. Why, why and when are you going to start to produce? There's two different hands. There's the consumer hands and there's the producer hand. 
are you a creator? Because everything you're consuming, that's somebody else's product. So my question is, why do you have to sit on this side of the fence? Why don't you force yourself? Because there's a star for everything. Why don't you force yourself to sit on the other side? What's stopping you? Because what you are eating, consuming, is somebody else. So that person, which is the creator, which is the producer, listen, if you are one of them, kudos to you. You know what? Respect. Because you are making your, your money off those consumers. Because people consume. That's what that's why you're getting richer. That's why you're getting better. But at some point, do you, don't you want to balance it out for those of you who are consumer? Those producer, what is the difference between the consumer and the producer? Is the action. Is the fact to overcome fear. Is the fact to stop being lazy. Is the fact to realize that enough is enough. Don't you are you not tired to be the hand who gets others? Other people rich, your hand because you're consuming, whether it's consuming on, on your phone or consuming your life, you're getting somebody else very rich. Why can't it be you? And that's what bothers me. And at some point, I had to realize you know, say, wake up, stop getting people rich, start producing for your own good, start producing for your own family, start producing for your own self because you deserve better. And my problem is, you don't even think about that. You're consuming every single day. My football players, you're consuming your life. You're consuming your, your football every day. You got knowledge coming, information. You know what? You're watching games. You are watching football games. Even for you, just my fans. You're watching football games, but what are you learning from those games? What can you take from everything that you're consuming and actually apply it into producer mode. And that's my challenge for you. I want you to start to produce, regardless what it is. If you were spending that much time, that much time producing that you are consuming, you would become an expert. You would be an expert by now. You know the rules of the 10,000 hours. It's a lot, but just think about it. What makes you spend four, five, six hours a day on your phone? Six, seven hours a day. What makes you spend that time? If you were, if you would just dedicate half of it, I'm saying half of it, to producing just one thing, content. You're on your phone, start producing content. I don't know, start producing something. Start producing something that's gonna show who you are. It's gonna show your value. Show what you uh, what you make about. What you made about. Producing is your future. Producing is getting you out of that prison of consuming. Listen, the world is world is made like that. But me and you are not made to be slave. I'm not made to always be the hand who's gonna make somebody else rich. You're going to reverse engineer things because you're going to start believing in yourself. You're going to start waking up. Start creating your own legacy. Start creating your own kingdom for real. Are you not tired to be sitting down on the couch, on the, on the sofa and going like that? Oh, but, and try to justify yourself. Oh, I had a long day. I had a long week. I'm just spending a couple of minutes on it. And you're lying to yourself. You're consuming like an addiction and you are an addict because you don't want to admit to yourself that you you're an addict yes this is an addiction and you don't as long as you don't fight that addiction and you don't recognize you don't hold your hand up and say yes i am guilty at some point i was going on my phone as a habit out of habit and i couldn't even realize that and i had the reaction of a, a real <laughs> like alcoholic or, or addict, I was getting defensive. I was getting defensive so quick and I had to, you know, take responsibility and ownership. I said, yeah, I spent too, many, too much time consuming. So before to be able to get rid of the addiction, let's transfer it. Per day, I'm asking you, half of the day, 
Think about one topic that you like to do. If you spend so much time on your phone, I want you to spend that much time on your phone and to produce something. Not to be busy, because there's a lot of you say, I'm busy, but you don't producing anything. Being busy doesn't mean that you're gonna produce. Being busy is the new term to say to people, you know what, leave me alone, I'm busy. I have so much to do. But what are you producing? I want you to produce. When I started Seb's SMS, I said, you know what, I'm gonna produce because I know there's some people that need what I have, they need what I gotta say. And because I don't think about myself, I think about others, I'm a team player and I, so are you. So who are you doing that for? Stop consuming your life. Your life is made to produce, you are wonderfully made. Act like it. Listen to me, that's the challenge of the day. I want you to spend half of the time you spend on your phone to produce something. Even if you don't have to put it out there, you have to, put, to show it to somebody. And that's gonna give you into, get you into the habit to start producing. Not being busy, I don't want you to be busy. I want you to be productive. Start producing, right? You know the drill, when you get on that green rectangle, what does that represent? Your life, your life only. We take what's ours, you take what is yours, you haven't stolen it. The power, the strength, the happiness, the, pro the, the productivity, not the, co not the consumivity, <laughs> the productivity, the health, the wealth, the smile. We don't only really take it, guys. We snatch it, take what is yours. Ah! Seb's SMS, I'm sending you this message. This is an important one. Did, 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 did. Stop consuming, start producing, right? You get me? Guys, start, you know, passing the, you know, the link around. Subscribe, thumb up, we're together. I'm with you, I'm your coach. I'm not gonna let you down, we're in together. We're gonna go a long way because we're family. We're together, I love you. I wish you're gonna have a wonderful game, a tremendous game. And whatever you do with your family, your friend or whoever, don't consume, start producing even with somebody else, it's easier. So that was your homeboy, Seb Basomeke, Baby Bass, always here to serve you because I love you. You know what, take what's yours, come on, let's go. Bye.